Right, so following on with what I said in my last video about the comments, I've seen the top uh, upvoted comment, the top liked comment on my one of my latest videos was this, and it's from Biohazard61. It says, Hi Stefan, I've been able to lucid dream every now and then. This often happens by accident, and I can only, re only recall one dream with a reality check. Uh, however, I'm trying to learn the wild technique, the uh, awake-induced lucid dream. And he can get himself to the sleep paralysis stage, so where he sees shapes and images as he's falling asleep. But he struggles to go beyond that. He says he's tried going to bed when he's tired, uh, because this helps you fall asleep and helps you enter the dream. He always gets stuck at the same place. Sometimes it lasts hours, he says. Sometimes it just goes on forever. Is there a way that I can do this, or should I try a new method? So I'm going to approach this a couple of ways. So the first thing is if you're struggling with the wild technique, firstly, don't worry. It's one of the most difficult techniques to do from being awake without having slept first. Now, what I mean by that is when you go to sleep, uh, your sleep is divided into several different cycles and phases. And without complicating it too much, uh, most of your dreams, and especially most of your potentially lucid dreams, will happen in the early hours of the morning, which is when you're so I've covered this before, but it's when you have your biggest uh, periods of REM sleep, rapid eye movement. And these are the times where you're most likely to lucid dream. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't have a wild lucid dream from, from scratch, you know, from when you first go to sleep at night. It just means it's going to take a lot more effort, practice and time. It's going to be very difficult. Okay, so if you want to do that, if you want to go down that path and do it that way, then just meditate. And I can't stress this enough, meditation twice a day for 10 minutes, following the steps on my on howtolucid.com will really help you, okay? Because you need to, I think there's a plane going by or something, sorry about that. You need to be able to focus, relax, and keep your mind aware while your body falls asleep. That's the most important thing. And the best way of doing that is to practice it. And the best way of practicing it is to meditate, because that's exactly what you'll be doing. The wild technique is essentially meditating while you fall asleep. Okay, so you need to be able to meditate first because the wild, the wake and juice lucid dream, it's like the next step of meditation. It's like a more advanced form of meditation. Not only are you relaxing your entire mind and body, but you're keeping your mind awake while your body not only relaxes, but completely falls asleep for the night. And so you need to be able to have the patience to essentially meditate for long enough for you to go through sleep paralysis. Okay through sleep hypnagogia where you see all the images, the shapes, colours and into the dream. Okay, So this is much more difficult to do when you first go to sleep. So that's step one. Step two and the second approach I want to take with this, which is the most effective way of actually getting this to work, is to wait. So I've said this before, but all you need to do is set your alarm six hours, for, set, set your alarm to go off six hours after you've fallen asleep. This will target your REM sleep, okay? And it should go off, let's say if you would normally wake up at eight in the morning, set your alarm to go off at six in the morning. And at this time, you're gonna perform what's known as a wake back to bed technique, the wake back to bed lucid dream, WBTV, okay? And all you need to do for this is set your alarm and then do exactly what you've done for the wild, the exact same steps at that time. And all it's going to do is make it much more likely that you'll be able to lucid dream because you'll be targeting your REM sleep. You'll already have had your deep restorative sleep in the night. You've already had that, you know, the sleep that's going to make you feel energized the next day. And so all you're doing is you're entering, you're re-entering, I should say, your, your sleep and entering, hopefully, a REM period, rapid eye movement, which is when you're most likely to dream and most likely to lucid dream. So there are two options you have here. You can either do the, the hard way, which... At the end of the day, it's going to be better for you because you'll learn how to meditate, you'll learn how to relax, or you can do the easy way, which is, especially if you're a beginner, which judging by your message, you seem, you seem to be uh, on the newer end of the spectrum. You seem to be fairly fresh, um, fr fairly, you know, you're a beginner, right? So try the second way. Try the wake back to bed combined with the wilds, which essentially is the same thing. Okay, just set your alarm six hours wake up, do the wild, and have a lucid dream. And then eventually, as you become better at meditating, you become better at relaxing and focusing, 
you know, you're going to be able to do it straight from being awake anyway. So this is really the best way to practice. I hope this has helped. And that's it. If you have a question you'd like, please either comment or look through the comments. If you see someone's liked something, uh, you know, if someone's if they have a lot of upvotes on a particular comment and you want that question answered, just give a quick upvote to the comment. And also don't forget to like and subscribe.